Hello and welcome to Marison's lithium battery Q&A channel. This is with me. As you know, our Marison battery are mainly used for solar energy, telecommunications, and some leisure applications such as RV and marine, etc. When using the battery, you will certainly want to understand some knowledge to better use it. In this video, I will answer some common questions of lithium batteries and bring you into the lithium batteries world to find out. SOC is state of charge. It provides users with information how much longer the battery can perform before it needs to be charged or replaced. Understanding the battery SOC is important because knowing the remaining capacity of a battery can help to make a control strategy. As for voltage, it is a basic electrical property of batteries. It indicates the potential difference in power it can provide. That is, the potential difference between positive and negative terminals of the batteries. For lithium battery, the voltage changes with its SOC. Usually when the battery is fully charged, its voltage will be relatively high. And when the battery is discharged, its voltage will gradually decrease. Therefore, voltage can be also used as a reference parameter to estimate the SOC. One of my clients had a problem before. He noticed that the SOC on battery and inverter are different. He asked whether this will affect the system performance. Since the logic of inverter and battery compute SOC is not the same, it can be divided into two cases to analyze. In communication mode, the SOC of lithium battery is usually obtained through communication between the DMS and battery unit. The battery sends its real-time voltage current, temperature, and other parameters to the BMS, which then calculate the SOC according to this parameter and the preset algorithm. While in voltage mode, the SOC is estimated by measuring the battery terminal voltage. The terminal voltage of the battery will change as its SOC changes. Therefore, it is normal that there may be variations between the two when monitoring and reporting the SOC, because SOC is just a reference value. As long as the difference is not large, it will not affect the normal operation. And it is important to know that the calculation of SOC is a dynamic process, requiring real-time updating of data and an adjustment of calculation methods to adapt to changes in battery status. In order to ensure the SOC reading on the battery and in water is accurate and reliable, it is necessary to regularly calibrate and maintain the battery and inverter, or reach the communication between the battery and inverter too. First is provide ideal storage conditions. Some customers may not use their batteries immediately after receiving it. And the good news is that the self-discharge rate of lithium batteries is very low and under proper storage conditions can greatly affect the battery service life. Lithium batteries should not be completely discharged to 0% or less than 20%, roughly below the state of 2.5 volt per cell. Because if the battery is not stored properly, it may not be able to provide its maximum capacity when it is put into surface. It is generally recommended to leave at least 15% charge before long-term storage and to recharge the battery every three months. Once I encounter a case, the customer system was working good after he traveled a month. He found that the battery cannot turn on. First of all, we need to analyze why this problem occurs. Does not the BMS come with the function of preventing the battery from over discharge? In fact, the circuit board capacitor inside the inverter consumes electricity all the time, even when the system is not working. And the customer did not turn off the battery switch and connection cables during one month. But the inverter consumption is very small and not even be detected by the BMS, finally lead to over discharge of the battery over time. If you also encounter the same problem, please don't worry. You can try to long press the reset to activate the battery. If the battery is still not responsive, you can use the DC battery charger to charge the battery till the voltage recover and can be reconnected to the inverter. It is worth noting that 
When the battery is not used for a long time, it is recommended to turn off the battery air switch to avoid that the battery has been in a state of power consumption all the time. Lithium batteries are greatly influenced by room temperatures too. If stored in an excessively hot room, the battery can degrade faster than normal. Best is store the battery pack in a cool room of about 59 Fahrenheit and keep track of the humidity in the room. Moisture will reduce the cell's lifespan and performance too. So the ideal room environment should be a cool and dry location with ventilation. Never store the battery pack near sunlight as the heat from the sun's rays can raise the battery temperatures. In addition, it is very important for lithium batteries to avoid rapid charge and discharge. Otherwise, it may need to changes in the internal chemical structure of the battery, affecting its performance and life. In general, discharge to 20% to 30% then should be charged again. Slow charge and discharge help protect the battery and extend its life. By using DMS can help you monitor the battery's state of charge as well as its temperature and other factors. All Marison batteries are equipped with highly accurate DMS, which can effectively monitor the real-time data of the battery and provide the data to the inverter to achieve communication compatibility, which can greatly protect the battery, improve the stability of the system, and reduce the probability of after cells. It's the best choice for your solar batteries. I hope this video will help you. If you have any other questions for lithium batteries, welcome to share and discuss with us. See you next time.